Hey, how's it going? And today I thought it would be fun to take a look at this moving object marker tutorial that they have on the Epic Games website. This is a fairly advanced tutorial and it covers a lot of important topics as structs and extension methods and named arguments and things like that. And we're pretty much going to be following it along, except that we're not going to be creating a blueprint to put the map indicator in. We're just going to parent the map indicator to an existing prop. The reason that I wanted to do this is that this particular tutorial, there's a couple issues that I had with it. And one was just in copying the code into Visual Studio. And the second one was when it gets to the part about the objective pulse, it wasn't working. And so I got it working, but I want to show you this part, how you can get it to work. So I think if you're new to Verse and you're following this tutorial, you might get frustrated. One, in copying the code, and two, that the objective pulse isn't working. So I just wanted to do this kind of as a community service and i'm not going to go over this tutorial step by step because you can do that on your own i just want to show you how i got it working relatively quickly once we overcome these initial obstacles so the first thing is i'm in unreal editor and i'm going to create a verse device this is just a blank island template so i'm going to go up to verse explorer left click right click add new file to verse and i'm just going to call this my objective marker and go create. It's gonna double click into this and this is gonna open Visual Studio and it's gonna have that boilerplate code in there and I'm just gonna hit Control A and delete all that. Now let's go over here and try to copy this code and I know from having spent quite a bit of time on this already that there's gonna be a problem and I'm gonna show you step by step how to work around the problem. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this verse device code. Go ahead and select this. And then I'm going to hit Control C and go into Visual Studio. And I'm going to hit Control V. I know I renamed that device, so I'm just going to call this my, what do I call it? My objective marker. Here's a bigger problem. You'll notice that these modules are offset. You can't just line these up and you're going to end up getting an error. What we're going to do is we're going to put the cursor right here at the end of this first line of code, right at the end, and hit enter and put in some space. Then we're going to copy these lines of code over. So I'm going to hit shift in, control X, and come up here and hit control V. And we're going to get kind of do the same thing for these next two lines of code. Shift in, control X, I'm using the arrow keys to navigate up there, control V, and then we're going to do this last one here, shift in, control X, come up here, control V. Now the next thing is we're going to put our cursor right at the front of this remaining code, hit shift, arrow down, and come all the way down to the end there, no extra spaces, hit control X, come right here to the end of that curly brace and hit control V. We're still a little off, so I'm gonna hit enter, and now we're perfectly lined up. So we've got the code over successfully, this section of code. But you're gonna notice we've got this error down here, and that's gonna stay with us for a little while. So we just have to put our code, we have to keep our code above this error right here. So we have to do all our pasting above that error, and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So let's go back in here and we're going to select this code. Now we already have these modules, we only need from this module, so I'm gonna go ahead and select from there, and click and drag, and go to the very end, hit Control C, we'll come back into Visual Studio, right there, we're gonna hit Control V, then I'm going to leave, put my cursor right there, Shift End, Control X, and we're going to copy that module up here, Control V. And now you'll see there's our error again. So we're going to do what we just did. We're going to put our cursor right there and put some space in there. Then we're going to select this code, remaining code here, and arrow down. I'm holding down Shift, go to the end, Control X. We're going to come here and Control V. And we'll see what happens. Now I'm going to hit Enter and see where that error pops up. 
it's still there. It's still down here on the bottom. So we just want to keep above it. This is a structure and this is an extension method and they need to be at the same level as this class here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit backspace and come out to there and we're going to come out to backspace and come out to here. And we should be good. Now I'm going to put my cursor here the very end of all the code and we're just going to hold down delete. I'm not sure what's causing that error to be honest with you. I just know we got rid of it. And now we can add code. So if I come up here and click enter you'll see we should be good to go with adding code. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Unreal Editor here and I'm going to hit verse build verse code and we don't get any errors. And when I drag this onto the scene here, you'll see we have these parameters exposed for us. So what this objective marker does is essentially we're going to have a prop and we're going to parent a map indicator to it. And then that prop is going to either move or teleport depending on this value here. If the value is greater than zero, then it's going to move. Zero or less, it's going to teleport. And then this is the destination location for wherever we want our prop to go. And you'll see here it wants us to put in a prop and a map indicator. But right now we don't have those in the scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Fortnite here. And I'm going to hit CP underscore. And you can just grab any prop that you want. So I'm just going to grab this statue right there. Just like that. And that will be our prop. And then I need to search for the map indicator. So go map indicator right there. And I'm going to drag this into the scene as well. Now if we come up to the outliner, there's our statue. And here's our map indicator device. So I'm just going to select this and drag this onto the statue. You see the green check mark. And now it is a child of this statue. So wherever this statue goes, this is going to go with it. So once we move this, this will go with it and show where we are on the map. In the tutorial, they have you create a separate blueprint class, but you don't need to do that. You can just do this, do it this way just to see it working. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this verse device and I'm going to go ahead and now pair those up. So I'm going to pair up my statue. I'm going to pair up the map indicator. And then we need to pick a location to send this. So I'm just going to put this on the translation. We're just going to send it 5,000 away. And then here we'll put in 10 seconds. And then we're essentially done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build that verse code again. And then we'll just click and start a session. And we'll see this in action. So I'll be back as soon as this finishes loading up. Okay, I'm back. And before we jump into Fortnite, I just wanted to go over this code a little bit. You'll see here, this is our creative device. I just realized I called this my objective marker and that's really close to what the class is called. So I probably should have called it something else. But anyway, you'll see here we've got our objective marker here and we've got our destination here. This is a reference to this class down here. And in this class, you'll see this is a structure and it's got our creative prop and our map indicator device. And then it's got this method in here and that's our value that we enter. If it's greater than zero, we move the prop. If it's less than zero, we teleport the prop. But I wanted to draw your attention to this because this is where there's gonna be a problem. So on begin play, it calls find player, which is right here. So it's going to go ahead and get all the players and everything. And then it's going to assign that player to this player op. There's no reason why there shouldn't be our player in this variable here. And if there is, a print string will happen saying player found. So that's why I wanted to go over this code. Because when we go into Fortnite to play this, this is going to appear on the screen really quickly. Only for like two seconds. It's going to say player found. But what that's going to show you is that this is working. Because once that player is found, right, we have this found player. So we have on here, we're going to find our player. 
then we're going to move the marker based on the time value to our destination. And if the player is found, which they will be found, we're saying to activate the pulse. And the pulse, if you don't remember, is this thing here, right? So what's going to happen is once we start this, this isn't going to work. We're not going to see this pulse. And I don't know why. I think it maybe had something to do with the fact that it's moving at the same time. And maybe that causes an issue. I, I don't know why this doesn't work because we do have a found player and everything else seems to be working appropriately. So I don't know why this doesn't work, but we can make it work. And so that's gonna be the workaround we're gonna do. So let's jump into Fortnite. And what should happen is we have this set for 10 seconds, right? And it's gonna to go to this location here. So this thing's gonna move over that way, 5,000 units over the course of 10 seconds and it's gonna take the map indicator with it and we'll see that moving on the map in Fortnite. So let's check this out right now. I'll hit escape and go start and that thing should start moving right away. And there it goes, you see? And then you see the map and I don't know if you caught the print string but it said player found. So you'll see this is the gist of the tutorial is there's our map indicator device, there's our, that's par parented to our statue but we don't see any objective pulse and I'm not sure why because we're not getting any errors or anything like that. So I was going to try to do a workaround so that we can make it work. So what I decided to do was take advantage of the code that's already here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to our device and I'm going to create a button. So I'm going to go at editable here. And I'm just going to go my button colon and we'll go a button device. So that creates a button device for us. And we can take advantage of this variable here, this player option that has been instantiated. So we can create a method here. We're going to make a new method, a new function, I should say. And I'm going to call it turn on pulse. So we'll leave find player there. And we're going to go turn on pulse. And this is going to be, since we're going to, it's going to be tied to the button, it's going to need an agent. So we're going to put an agent here. And it's not going to return any values. So we go void equals. And all it's going to do is it's going to say if found player since we're calling an option we're querying an option it has to be within a if statement so we're saying if there's something inside of there and we know there is then we're going to go ahead and do this line of code here so this should have worked but it didn't work and I don't know why. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this line of code and pop it down here. And this is almost, I think, better because we can, the player can then turn that objective marker on if they want to or don't wanna have it on. So anyway, we've added a button here and all we have to do now is just subscribe that to this turn on pulse. So I'm going to go my button, reference my button, and it's going to be interacted with event, and it's going to be subscribe, and it's going to be to our turn on pulse. Interacted. I see I didn't spell this right. Let me fix that my button. Okay, so we've added a button, we've binded it to our turn on pulse function, which is basically the same as this, except we're just putting this code inside of our button, controlling it with our button. So let's go ahead and compile this and see if that works. Let me go ahead and build first code, and you'll see it wants a button now, so let's go add a button here. We'll bring a button in right there. Then we just need to pair it to our verse device. 
and let's go ahead and push all those changes and then I'll be back as soon as that's done. Okay, I'm back and it looks like it loaded up. So let's go ahead and hit start and see what happens. So there goes our guy and we see the map indicator moving and he goes 5,000 units and that could be any prop or whatever you wanted. Now it stopped. Now when I come over to this button, if I press it, let's see if the objective pulse comes on. I think you have to start walking. You see it now? Yeah. So there it is, right? So that's the only way I got it working. I'm not sure why it doesn't work. Maybe because it's moving. But anyway, it is all working now. And so I hope you found this of some help. And anyway, I will talk to you next time.